guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald, I'm from Free60 Creators. And in this video, I'm going to talk about linking records uh, from base row through the API into Web Studio. When you set up your resource, so uh, in base row, you say, okay, uh, great, we got the resource, got the URL. Um, this is all just standard stuff. If you want a video on this and have me explaining these things a little bit more easy going, just let me know in the comments. Uh, but for now, I'm going to assume that you understand what's here. And you do your request and just to get a list of all the items, right? So in this case, we're doing a request to get everything from, from this table, all the categories. So we want category A, B, and C. Okay. So here we are. We say inspect and we've got category A, B, and C. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link some of these categories. So I'll say, okay, uh, with an item. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll refresh the request. And now we can see we got this extra field over here, 6289, which is exactly this one. And we can see we get ID number one. So that means in this items, uh, you can see this is row identified, this is number one. Um, we get YouTube and we get the order. But we don't get the URL. And this is the part where I've been struggling with a lot. I've been like, how, how I'm going to get this URL field to show up? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tutorial links and I'm going to open the API docs in a new tab. And over here, I'll say categories table and I'll say list rows. And over here, there is this parameter, which helps you to fix this thing. It's the link row field join. And even after looking at this, I was still a little bit like, okay, but uh, how do you actually do this stuff? So as we're you using uh, these uh, the, the field IDs, we're not using the names, as you can see. You can see we're using user field names as false, so we're only using IDs of the fields, which is a much better practice. So if you change the name of this stuff over here, it's not going to break your connection. Um, so we're using IDs. So we don't need this one. We only need this one over here. Uh, that's one part. We're going to get to this part and go we say okay, field one and then join is and copy this part. And then what we do is over here, we say this little uh, N, N sign to connect them with, right? Not a question mark with the N. And then we say paste. And then we say, take the field ID of this linked item. So we say, okay, that's 6289. And then I thought, okay, am I now supposed to do a lookup field over here? Let's say lookup and, and use, use this ID. So say, okay, URL, and then use, use this ID. That's what I first thought, but this is not the case. So you can skip all of this. You can just go directly to the items where you want to get the field ID from. And then you say, okay, in this case, you want to get the URL. And we see this is 6288. So then what we do over here, we say, okay, uh, field two. And then we say, uh, Instead of two, it's six, two, eight, eight. And then click out and we click resource, refresh, and, and it's not working because I have a little space here. Let's try one more time. All right. And here we go. So now we also have this linked field and that's kind of the trick on doing this. Now, if you would have another field, a number field, um, and we say, okay, we refresh this and we also want the number field. We just go over here, 6292. And we need to do fields. So we say comma field lower 6292. And we click a little bit out of it so that it's not in focus anymore. At least that's what I usually do. And then I hit refresh. And now we see we also got this field. So that's how you can get all the information from a linked record appear in your API request into Web Studio so you can uh, link all the stuff together. Hope it's been helpful. If it was, please uh, don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up 
uh, and subscribe if you haven't done already. And see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.